What's up everybody, welcome to another video. Hope you're ready to flex those brain muscles. This video is gonna be a little bit different than normal. I have something very serious to talk about. So I've seen a meme on Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, and I've even seen it posted on a bulletin board in the math building at Texas State University. And what this meme says is every time you do this, a kitten dies. And guess what it is? It's a silly math mistake. And again, this is a meme, so it's a statement, it's on the internet, therefore it is true. This is a real thing. Lives are being lost because of these careless mistakes, and I'm tired of it. Over the years, I've seen these mistakes over and over. Lives being lost. So I'm making this video. I'm going to show these mistakes. I'm going to correct them, and I'm going to put this out on the internet. I'm going to put this onto YouTube, and if you care about the lives of innocent, cute, furry little kittens, then you will like this video, you will subscribe to my channel, and you will share this video with all your friends. And I think together, we can make a difference. Together, we can raise awareness, and we can save kitten lives around the world. So I hope you enjoy this video. All right, so here's our first big mistake, and I like to call this one, my ex is hashtag canceled. And here's why, because students love to cancel their exes even though sometimes they shouldn't. So let's look at this example. 3x squared over x plus one. I got two x's in the top, I got an x in the bottom. That means I can get rid of some x's, right? Hallelujah, she gone, bye Felicia, she gone. What am I left with here? 3x over one, right? Wrong, I was way too eager to cancel these x's and look what happened. I have this rational expression, 3x squared over x plus one. I can't cancel these x's because look at this one. He's a lonely one, he ain't got no x. All right, and with rational expressions like this, with multiple terms in the numerator or denominator, if I want to cancel something, that something has to be in every term, okay? Lonely one, he ain't got no X. Good for him, but that doesn't mean he can cancel his X or he can cancel his X. So actually, we have to keep all our X's. This is as simple as this gets. You got three X's, you're just gonna have to deal with it. All right, guys, I'm really sorry. I named all these mistakes, but I can't quite remember the full name of this second mistake. It's something like forgetting to f some four-letter F word here. Can't quite remember, but I have a good example here. X plus two squared. Pretty simple. Squared means times itself. So X times itself gives us X squared plus two times two. That gives us four. X squared plus four. I sort of just distributed this squared, right? X times itself plus two times itself, right? Wrong. It's forgetting to... Foil, that's the four letter F word, foil. It's not what you were thinking of, you sicko. Foil, first, outer, inner, last. Yes, squared means times itself, but what times itself? X plus two times itself. So I can write this out as X plus two times X plus two, okay? What is this equal? X squared, that's my first, the outer and inner give me plus four X plus four. I was missing a whole four X because I did it incorrectly and I killed a kitten. Don't forget to foil. All right, guys, so this third mistake I call always avoid negativity, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but in this context, we're going to see why it's a bad thing, okay? X squared equals 16. This is what I'm solving. Real easy, right? X squared, how do I get rid of the squared? I square root. So what happens here? Square root, that gets rid of that square. I'm left with X square root. What's the square root of 16? 4. So I get X equals 4, right? Wrong. Well, technically, it's only half wrong, or I guess if you avoid negativity, you could say it's half right. Okay, but yeah, why is it half right? Well, we avoided negativity. What do we do? Plus or minus, square root property, right? Square root of both sides, plus or minus. So I actually have two answers, both positive and negative four. Why is this? Well, we can go back and check. Positive four squared is 16, negative four squared is 16. They both work. So we have to have that plus or minus. Another way we can look at it is normally when we solve quadratics like this, we get everything on one side and zero on the other side, and we either factor, complete the square, use quadratic formula, something like that to solve these. The only reason we were able to square root both sides is because we're missing an X term here, right? We don't have an X term. So if you wanna get in the habit of doing that, getting everything on one side and zero on the other side, that actually works for this as well. And this is kind of cool because if we subtract 16 from both sides, we get X squared minus 16 equals zero. This is a difference of squares. This factors to x minus four times x plus four. And now we can use our zero product property, which says that two things being multiplied together, if they equal zero, then this is zero or this is zero. And that gives us our plus four minus four as both our solutions. So don't always avoid negativity because doing that could lead to the death of an innocent kitten. All right, mistake number four I like to call, can't divide by zero, watch me, all right? So you can probably guess what the mistake's gonna be. Look, we're gonna solve this, x squared equals x. What do I need to do? I can divide both sides by x, right? Divide by x, divide by x. Look what happens, what do I end up with? This is supposed to be an arrow. What do I end up with? x squared over x, that's just x, equals one, right? 
wrong. Well, technically only half wrong again. But what did I do? I divided by x. So I ignored the possibility of x being zero because you can't divide by zero. And if you do, I don't want to see it because I know what's happening somewhere. A kitten. I don't have to say it. I don't want to say it. Okay, you can't divide by x, all right? When you have quadratics, again, get everything on one side, zero on the other side. If I subtract x from both sides, I get x squared minus x equals zero. Now I can factor out that x. I get x times x minus one, zero product property. I get two solutions, x equals zero and x equals one. Two solutions. Don't divide by zero. All right, guys, here's the last big mistake for this video, and I like to call this one PEMDAS. I don't know her, and here's why. Four minus four times four plus four. We're gonna see the mistake, watch closely. Four minus four is zero. And guess what, I'm gonna write down all the other steps I still have left because I am smart. Zero times four, that's zero, duh. Anything times zero is zero. Plus four, that gives me four. Wow, all this ended up to be four. Isn't that cool, right? Wrong, I completely forgot PEMDAS. Like I said, PEMDAS, I don't know her, but I should, because if I did, maybe I would have gotten this right. But still maybe not, it's still not guaranteed, because I see a lot of people who say, ooh, PEMDAS, and still get it wrong. So sometimes PEMDAS, she ain't enough on her own, and you need a side acronym. <laughs> okay, but seriously, sometimes she ain't enough, because what happens is people forget that it's parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division from left to right in the same step. Addition and subtraction from left to right in the same step. So there are really only four steps, not six. So if you know PEMDAS, it's good to know her, but you still have to remember that extra information. You still need that, that extra info. So what does this correctly evaluate to? Let's go ahead and see if we can do it correctly. First thing I'm gonna do is, well, I don't have any parentheses or exponents. I do have multiplication. Four times four, that gives me 16 here. And I am gonna copy everything down. I was being serious about that. It is smart to write out all your steps. A lot of mistakes are made there. So now what do I have? Let's see, multiplication and division are done, addition and subtraction, but don't just go in order of the acronym. Addition and subtraction in the same step from left to right. Four minus 16, negative 12 plus four equals negative eight, bam, done. And I did it correctly, and guess what? I saved a kitten. All right guys, so if somehow you haven't noticed by now, this video is very sarcastic and not meant to be taken seriously. No kittens are being harmed, nor do I have any intention of making fun of anybody who's maybe made one of these mistakes. I have nothing but love and patience for anyone trying to learn math. That's why I make instructional videos about different math topics. So make sure to check out my channel, check those videos out, maybe they'll help you. And let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video. If there's some mistakes I left out, let me know down there as well. Maybe I'll make a part two, who knows. But as always, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.